I, I, I would tell you that, um, you know, that it showed this league how strong it was, and everybody wants to take shots, but Georgia should be and Tennessee should be and Arkansas should be on the edge. I mean, they beat us twice. Um, and it, for some reason, doesn't get the credit it should. Uh, Georgia won seven out of their last ten games. You talk about how you play at the end. Um, seeding will matter and where we're placed. I know Florida is going to be a one seed, and it'll whether they win or not tomorrow doesn't matter because it'll be done. The seeds will be done. But you know where we're seeded. I mean, I, who knows? But I know our strength of schedule is three or four, depending on where you look. Three or four. Our RPI is anywhere from 12, 13, 11, 4, right in that range. I mean, that sounds like an eight seed to me, but I don't know. Take your questions for either of the student athletes. Raise your hand. We'll get a floor mic to you. Hands up. Questions for any of the student athletes. Hands up. Okay, start on the far right. Uh, Aaron. Aaron, um, could you, <laughs> you tell me about your play today and also your brother's play, do you feel like you guys are getting close to your potential? Yeah, I mean, I just, I mean, I just knocked down some shots, really. My brother got me um, some great looks, and Julius got me some looks. So, I mean, I just tried to do what I could today for my team, which is knock down shots. Other questions, raise your hand. Let's go to the middle aisle. Andrew, you set a career high to assist each of the past two nights. Um, what would you attribute that to? Um, just my um, my teammates. Um, they make making me look good right now. Just finding them and they're knocking down their shots. So, question on the left side, Julius. You said after the game in Florida that you guys needed to make something happen. You didn't know what, but you need to make it happen. Do you feel like you've made it happen now since that game? Um, yeah, I, I feel like our chemistry is getting better. Um, we're we're becoming a better team, getting better every game, and. We all know it starts on the defense end for us, and uh, we're just playing off of that. Hands up. Other questions for any of the student athletes? Okay, right here in the front. Aaron, what kind of defense was Georgia in today that allowed you guys to have so many open three attempts? Um, I think it wasn't. They played pretty good defense. I mean, I think it was just us driving the ball and getting in the lane and, 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 and getting each other's shots. I think that's what, that's what it was. Hands up. Other questions? All right, we'll excuse you, uh, fellas. You return to the locker room. And we'll continue with uh, questions for Coach Calipari. If you'll raise your hand, and we'll get a floor mic to you. Let's start right in the front on the right. John, obviously you played well last night. But this game, with all the fouls and kind of stop, start, kind of a gritty nature, was this maybe in your mind as impressive as last night to be able to we're we're, we're doing better. Each, we're we're not the same team. I mean, you've seen us now. We're not the same team we were two, three weeks ago. And it took some stuff and tweaking some stuff and and making us more physical in practice because the games are becoming, you know, slugfest again. And you got to be able to play that way. So you prepare for it. And that doesn't mean that you're fouling, but you got to play through bumps and grinds. And so you got to practice that way, or they're not used to it. The other thing I would tell you is they're really, they're just starting to come together. It took time. We're, we're starting five freshmen, folks. Five freshmen. Um, and trying to do something unique and special. And, and, and this team, you know, they're starting to come together. I mean, we're, we're now one of those teams that you would hope we would have been two months ago. But so what? It took time. I'm good with it. I've already said we had a fabulous year. If we would have won... One more non-conference game. There was a team or two. There were two games. We could have won one of those. And a couple league games that we lost, an overtime game and another game. I mean, you're looking at this team saying starting different. And, and every one of those games were close. We had a chance to win all of them. And so this team just needed something to get them over the hump, and they're doing it now. Hands up. Other questions for Coach Calipari? Raise your hand. All right, let's go back to the front. Like you said, I mean, the seating's probably going to be over. The bracket's going to be over by the time you play. Is there still tomorrow something of a measuring stick by yeah, the way Florida it, and, and they're outstanding. They're, for what they did today against the Tennessee team, and again, if there are 15 teams playing better than Tennessee right now, i got to see who you are. 
I mean, Tennessee is, they're not only playing, they're smashing people. Now, from what they, I didn't watch the game, nor did I watch the tape yet, but I heard the press got him for a, a few minutes and changed the complexion of the game, and there was a te technical after a bad call, somebody told me, and that changed the game. But let me just say this. Tennessee is that good. Now, what happens is the seeding is done before our game is played tomorrow. This happened to us three years ago. Three years ago, we won this game, and our seed did not change, and neither did Florida's seed. What happened was the teams above us got hammered. The one seed and the two seed in our region now, North Carolina and Ohio State, two Final Four teams, we beat them. So it's, this seeding's important because you end up, it's not like we're getting screwed, we're fine, we're in. We're gonna, but where you put us may hit somebody above us, like why are you putting them with us? But that's what makes the committee what they are and makes it hard. And they can't watch the game tomorrow. They can watch it, but it's not going to have any bearing on what happens.